Kouetio. Please be seated. Veuillez prendre place, dit le Président. En... The court is now back in session. L'audience reprend. Give the floor to the chair once again to put a question to the witness, Steve Hedder. To make a statement. Ces questions au témoin, Steve Hedder. Thank you, Mr. President. La défense, merci, Monsieur le Président. Mr. Witness, Mr. Hedder. Mr. Hedder. Two related quotes. Deux citations interconnectées, ce sera la dernière book. fois que je citerai l'ouvrage de Ben Kiernan, la page 55, page 55 et page 57. English ERN 006-78522. Uh, French ERN 006-38-7825. Up until 8.5. Khmer 006-37-441. Up until 006-37-442. I'm reading you the first paragraph. It's a chapter called Consolidation, the 20 May 1975 conference. All military and civilian officials of the new regime were summoned to a special meeting on 20 May 1975. District and region secretaries came from all over the country and representatives from all armed forces and units and regions, so there were thousands. This is actually a quote. The assembly was held in the old sports center in the northern part of Phnom Penh. Its purpose was to receive the plan distributed by the center and then return home to implement the plan. The meeting lasted five days. Mr. Heather, you will see Monsieur that this Heather, passage refers to a footnote, a footnote 106, and the footnote 106 reads as follows, and I quote the same page. This is Heng Samrin's 1991 account. Chia Sim thought the meeting took place at the Khmer Rouge Soviet University in 1992. Heng Samrin insisted he was right, saying that he was living in the city at the time. This is the first, first quote. The second quote is on page 57. English ERN 006-78523. French ERN 0063-786 until 87. And Khmer 0063-7444 until 46. Now on this page 57, Mr. Heather, I read the following quote is the second paragraph. Heng Samrin, then studying military affairs under Son Sen, was also at the meeting. He recalls the use of yet another term. Quote, they did not say kill, they said scatter the people of the old government. Scatter, comme chat, them away, don't allow them to remain in the framework. It does not mean, quote unquote, smash, comme tech. Smash means kill, but they use a general word, scatter. Nguyen Chia used this phrase. This appears to be Sin Song's point number five, 
though the use of varied euphemisms, euphemisms is an, an important qualification. Now I read to you, Mr. Heller, two quotes. One about the general presence of Heng Samrin at this 20 May 1975 conference, and one about the things that he, heard, he said he heard in respect to um, presumably enemies. My question to you is the following. Do you have, on the basis of your interviews or reading of documents, et vos recherches documentaires, factual information avez-vous des informations factuelles permettant de corroborer these two particular passages ces deux passages dont je viens de vous donner lecture um, Réponse. Yes and no. Oui um, I think I previously mentioned that my material indicates that there was a there was more than one meeting um, which would explain why one person says there was a meeting in one place and another person says there was a meeting in another place, in another place. it's not that one of them is wrong and one of them is right it's that people describe people have described to me more than one meeting plus d'une réunion ayant eu lieu en plus d'un endroit at least not entirely et overlapping participer groups of people. des and groupes qui ne se chevauchent pas pleinement. Donc, line for implementation, et ce sont des réunions um, des meetings. destinées à diffuser la ligne politique à May, et cela se passe effectivement en fin mai, début juin 1975. de l'année 1975. Um, and my recollection is that this kind of information doesn't come from sources as high level as aussi haut placé Ben Kiernan's, que um, de ben and not Kiernan. necessarily people who were directly present, but people from defense units, that is to say, bodyguard des, units who accompanied cadre to these meetings, uh, so have some réunions, indirect knowledge, well, have direct knowledge of where and when meetings were held, de façon and indirect knowledge based on what they were told by their superior or superiors about what went on in those meetings. Off the top of my head, I think, in terms of passait, uh, at least superficial, um, quality of, of um, interviewee, Kiernan's data on this is superior to, to mine. Des personnes interrogées, les données de Kiernan sont supérieures aux miennes. Question. Est-ce que vous pouvez dire si vos données your, um, recueillies auprès de vos studying of documents and talking to, um, to people, et dans Do votre data recherche documentaire, est-ce que vos données corroborent l'expression utilisée par Heng Chia Samrin en rapport avec Nunchea concernant ce que Nunchea aurait dit à cette réunion-ci um, ou à d'autres I don't have trouble with the bit that's on, I don't see the EO, it's a, it's a half page. The right hand side of ERN in English 006 78523, which is original page 57. Uh, I don't have a, any, any problem with. Um, the reporting about the use of the word or the non-use of the word smash, La non du which mot I agree, according to many respondents, was a euphemism generally used to mean kill. Um, pour, uh, I'm troubled by the um, way in which the term gamchat is dealt with here. It's not consistent with my interview data. 
um, and it's the, the translation of gamjat as scatter is to my mind incorrect there's a, a bound form typical in southeast asian languages where something is something that sounds similar is repeated a reduplicative pattern um, and the reduplicative, the applicable reduplicative pattern here in Khmer is Kamjat Kamjai. Kamjai literally means something like disperse or scatter. Kamjat um, is stronger um, and means get rid of, eliminate. So the reduplicative bound form Kamchat Kamchai could be rendered into English as eliminate, hyphen, disperse. Um, so Kamchat, to my mind, has a stronger um, and um, potentially more um, worrying um, meaning than simply Kamchai. Uh, and comes closer to the notion of Um But, um, and I, 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 I can't tell you off the top of my head whether that, those particular specific terms are dealt with in any of my interview data. Here I'm speaking from the way in which other interview data generally has been, it, it gives some indication of the meaning and the, the usage of these terms. Quant à l'utilisation de ces termes. Have you Question. at one point read the underlying interview itself that led Keenan qui write this particular passage sur in his book? Kiernan a rédigé ce passage-ci. Avez-vous eu connaissance de cet entretien-là? Um, well, again, at one level, Kiernan is better than me uh, because his interview notes are, unlike my sort of idiosyncratic, peculiar shorthand, written out in full in longhand. Um, but they're in English. So, the, to my knowledge, the original notes of this interview, which I first saw at DC CAM, um, are in English. So I presume what's happened is he's written down the English interpretation that he was given uh, when he did the interview. I don't think it's transcribed into Khmer from a tape and then translated from the tape, from the transcription into English. I think what happened was that he took the notes down in English from interpretation. So and that's, I can't go back and look at any original Khmer because I don't think there is an original Khmer for this text. If I can take you to the original Question. interview, uh, Alors, this particular passage le, le, that Keenan seems to be referring, referring to, uh, that is um, document E3 slash 1568. Uh, 1568. <laughs> And in the middle of that page, Au milieu de la page I read as follows. Je dis, je lis here is the summary, Heng Samrin being quoted. On cite ici, uh, they didn't Heng say Samrin. kill Il ne pas tuer. between brackets the Long Nol leaders. Les they said, de de Long Nol. unclear Khmer words, don't Il allow them to remain in the framework. Ne it doesn't pas de mean dans smash. Le cadre. Ça ne veut pas dire Nunchi had used this phrase. Nunchi a utilisé cette formule. Could you react on this? Que, quelle est votre réaction sur ce texte? Yes, I think President, uh, witness, please hold on. The prosecution, you may proceed. 
Mr. President, it's only really to put this document in context. The defence have, in the past, objected to uh, this document. They're now plainly uh, wishing to refer to it, but I want to place that objection uh, on the record. And we also have an extract being read that has some unclear Khmer words being referred to. Or, il contient ce qui est entre crochets des mots en Khmer illisibles ou incompréhensibles. Je suis on various occasions in our request to have witness 223 be summoned. Um, so um, I don't see if the, the, the objection has any uh, validity. We do wish to use this specific passage um, from uh, this document. So I would like to be able to put the question to you more specifically uh, um, to give a reaction. That's my question to you, Mr. Heather, about the words. La reaction de Monsieur Heather uh, concernant les mots. Don't allow them to remain in the framework. Ne pas leur permettre de rester dans le cadre, en traduction littérale. Le président. Witness, please hold on. The National League co lawyer for civil Le parties, you may take the floor. Civil, vous avez Vietnam. la parole. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président. The formula or question by the Defence Council is uh, for the expert, and Mr. Steve Heder is here as a witness, not as an expert, and for that reason, I object to the question. En tant qu'expert, j'ai donc une objection. Correct. Um, C'est correct. Mr. Heder has offered many Monsieur linguistic Heder interpretations of certain words. He just did it in his previous answer. So I'm, I'm now um, putting another version of the same Khmer words. Je lui soumets uh, tout simplement une autre version des mêmes him, termes Khmer pour demander him to give a reaction. I think that's within de réagir. his Je pense um, que capacity as a witness. Cela est conforme à ses uh, capacités de témoin.
Président, le juge l'avait amené à prendre la parole pour préciser la décision de la Cour concernant la dernière objection sur la question. Monsieur le juge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, thank you, la Chambre Mr. Est, est plutôt d'avis qu'il convient de considérer que la, la question qui est posée est une question qui vise à interpréter une expression en Khmer. Or, il semble que ce soit plutôt une interprétation qui relève de la compétence d'un expert. So it seems that rather this interpretation would be within moins, the si scope of an expert. A des éléments de fait so unless the witness has factual de, elements uh, which would plus, allow us uh, to provide a more a défense, precise answer to the question, raised, the question raised by the defense, the chamber believes that there is no donc, need to put this question to the witness, and therefore is question asking the defense to put another question in this Mr. Mr. Heder, you have any precise and factual elements that you would like to raise? Um, the, no, I don't actually because en fait, um, non, je in this je instance, pas. I can't figure out what the original Khmer may have been. doesn't make sense to me in English. doesn't appear to me as something that I can understand as a mistranslation of something with which I'm familiar. I mean, if I could figure out what I thought it was, then I could say what others have told me about what that means. But I can't do that because I can't get to the first step. So without the original Khmer document or the original Khmer transcription of the discussion, I, I can't address it. I'll move on, Mr. Heder. Um, Je poursuis, Monsieur Heder, dit la défense. The last hour, we have been speaking about um, de la in heure, detail about Heng Samrin. We discussed a little bit his Heng Samrin, uh, joining the revolution. Son we discussed to a certain extent his role in the, during the evacuation of Phnom Penh. Um, de Phnom Penh. We have also now discussed his presence at this 20 May meeting, 20 May 75 meeting. Um, what we haven't discussed yet, and that is my question to you, uh, do you have any factual information um, based on des informations your talks factuelles with sur la base de vos discussions avec vos um, informateurs, vos répondants et votre travail documentaire give, qui vous permettrait d'éclairer la relation entre Heng Samrin d'un côté et Nunchia de l'autre. Réponse. Um, to my recollection, the only such information of which, the only such information, information, let's put it this way, the only such information I can remember, I think is on the case files as a result of interviewing done under the auspices of OCIJ and not something that is in my possession as a result of my own non-court-related work. So I think the answer is no. Now I would like to open the question. I would ask now a closed question. A possible relationship Concernant between Nunchia and entre Yang Samrin. Nunchia et Yang Samrin. Do you have factual knowledge Avez -vous des informations factuelles coming from your interviews or reading the documents de vos or confessions, de etc., des documents, ou encore des aveux, uh, which suggests donnant à penser that Hang Samrin was in fact que Hang Samrin for many years, the Pendant de nombreuses années, a été le messager personnel de Nunchia. 
réponse. I'm pretty sure that comes from sources Je suis quasi sûr que cela other than mine, and by other than mine, I include sources which may be in the case file as a result of investigation done in the OCIJ period, but therefore it's not my personal information. I don't think I have that data as a result of my own non-court work or as a result of, you know, I don't have it directly myself. If I've seen it, I've either seen it inside the court or within the context of the court um, or in somebody else's work. Ou alors dans les travaux de quelqu'un d'autre. Question. To be absolutely sure, have you, do you have any factual information from your interviews with people reading documents, et cetera, de la lecture um, de documents, that corroborates the possibility qui viendrait or that corroborates the fact that Nu and Chia and Hang Samrin know each other que Nuancha et Heng Samrin se connaissent depuis les années 1950. Uh, uh, Réponse. Le président uh, not Témoin answer this question because it is repetitive. It has been Elle asked uh, several times already. And the defense counsel is once again reminded Maître. that uh, any request for additional time will not be entertained because uh, you have been Votre you as not using de uh, the place court time. La chambre n'y accédera pas. Last question on the subject, Mr. Heather. Um, I would Maître like Coppel. to Dernier refer you to thème. a footnote in Keenan's book. Du livre de it is footnote note de page 97 on page 206. À la page 206. English EON 00678 French 0063-7675-276. Now I have maybe another ERN number when it comes to the footnote. It seems to be 97, uh, sorry, 0063-9340. Footnote 97, I just read the first um, few, pa few lines. Header first suggested that the, end, that the Eastern Zone anti-Pol Pot rebel Heng Samrin was a kind of Kim Philby character who had been passing all the secret documents of the Cambodian Communist Party to the Vietnamese all along. According to Heather, in 1959, Sam Rin was infiltrated into the ranks of the Cambodian Revolution by the Vietnamese. Il a and he rose as high as he could, il a and when it became impossible for him to continue to operate, he fled to Vietnam, opéré, il a pris la just as Kim Philby fled to the USSR. Kim Philby avait pris la fuite I was referring to an article that you wrote in The Call, an, article que vous avez an organ dans of the, the Communist Call, Party of the USA, du Parti 5, 5 communiste américain, 5 mars 1979. Avez-vous écrit um, cet article, passage about ce passage, Hank Samrin being Kim Field. sur le fait que Hank Samrin était comme Kim Field Le the président, president, uh, witness, please hold on. Veuillez attendre. The national lead co-lawyer for the civil party, you may proceed. Council Pyeong, good afternoon, Mr. President. And good afternoon, Your Honours. I look at the email uh, sent by the senior legal officer of the trial chamber dated the 3rd of July 2013. Specifies very clearly uh, that uh, this uh, witness uh, before us will testify uh, 
on a K002 slash 01, and I believe that the question being put by the Defense Council is uh, not relevant and it is beyond uh, the scope of the current case, and I object on this basis. Mr. I'm only asking about Je pose simplement um, une question a question about a footnote sur une note referring to something qui fait that this witness has written. And my only question is, écrit le témoin. did you Je in fact si write le témoin whatever has been quoted in the footnote? Écrit That's my only question. Ce qui est mentionné dans la note de bas de page. C'est ma seule question. Uh, the objection is not uh, sustained. The witness is now directed to respond to the question. Le témoin doit à la question. Le témoin. Um, I don't think it's something that I wrote. I je think it's something that I cela. was quoted je pense as que having chose said que je cite comme um, été dit. and quoted in a manner that didn't reflect the full context in which this was put forward as one of several alternative versions of what might be the reality. I'm not quite sure if I understand fully your answer. Could you clarify? I, I previously mentioned that I was in contact with this group and um, my recollection is that I had conversations with them, both with regard to their trip to Cambodia in mid-78 and events that occurred thereafter, and this is quoted by them, not written by me, but quoted by them in their journal, and quoted in a manner that didn't reflect my full views at the time. So it's one of several possibilities. But did you, in fact, that is my, my last question on the subject, did you, in fact, say Avez-vous dit was the, was the que Hank Samrin était le Kim Phil du Cambodge? One of several. Le président interrompt. The president, witness, Vous n'avez pas à répondre. Not Vous pas this question. Uh, the witness is not an expert, and this question uh, elicits uh, speculation on the La side of the witness. Vous invite à émettre des suppositions. I'll move on. Uh, La to Je pense à autre subject. chose. And that is your book on communism. Votre livre sur le communisme. E R N. Sorry, it is E three slash twenty two. Bar vingt deux. And what I would like to do in order to speed up uh, things is to quote a few passages choses, from the foreword uh, of the book, uh, the foreword of, uh, written by David Chandler, David Chandler. Uh, because it seems that he summarizes um, quite, en effet, um, quite well what, you, what your point has assez bien is in the, in the book, what you're trying to prove in the book. Essayez de prouver dans votre livre. So I'm, I'm reading these passages, and then I would just like you uh, to say Après if, quoi, in fact, he is making an accurate si summary of your Chandler book, and if not, maybe you could then si uh, expand. Cas, and that is, it has not been translated. Oh, sorry, sorry. Le Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Le this isn't putting to Mr. Header what he's written now. Ici, la défense ne présente pas It's putting à Mr. Header to Mr. Header on lui présente what Professor Chandler has written Professor about Mr. Header's book concernant le livre and de asking Mr. Header, Header to comment Il est on whether Mr. Chandler's view of what he wrote collect correctly re reflects something. Again, si ce this, ce is, livre de Header this est is an invitation to nouveau, opinion le témoin est invité à donner un throughout. Avis. The direction from the chamber did not La say, please put to Mr. Header what people have written about him in forwards to his books. The chamber's direction was, 
put Mr. to Mr. Heder what he's written à Monsieur in his books, ses propres écrits, not what other people have written about les his books. Sur ses à lui. And this, in my respectful submission, is the, à mon avis, the flip side of the coin that we had earlier, de la médaille, where Mr. Heder was being asked to comment on, on something he'd written about what Mr. Kiernan has written. Ce avait écrit this au sujet is not about this portion of the evidence about what Mr. Chandler's written about what Mr. Hedder, Mr. Hedder's written about Mr. Kiernan, Mr. Kiernan's written about Mr. Hedder. Des uns sur les autres, Kiernan et Des This portion of the trial is designed to address pas de cette books du procès. authored Il by Mr. Hedder and what Mr. Hedder's had to des say. De and in de my respectful contenu. submission, you're not going to be assisted avis, by what Mr. Chandler thinks of Mr. Hedder's book. De Eder sur les livres de Mr. Chandler. It's not a review or anything. There's no dispute ne between Mr. Pas. Chandler and La uh, Mr. Hedder. In fact, Mr. Chandler is Il very happy, it seems, with uh, the book of Stephen Apparemment, Chandler est très it's, satisfait it's du livre de Hedder. Il s'agit de la préface. Je pensais pouvoir accélérer les choses. Mais apparemment, l'accusation fait tout pour faire obstruction à mon interrogatoire. Je vais donc reformuler. Are you in fact, are you in the book? Let me rephrase. Are you in the book um, speaking about four myths about the Cambodian communism? And if yes, could you please? Et si oui, pourriez-vous expliquer ce que vous avez écrit sur ces quatre mythes communisme. par rapport au communisme cambodgien Sadly, you're going to have to refresh my memory. Maybe Chandler enumerates, goes on to enumerate the myths, specify the myths. Est-ce que vous pourrez énumérer ces mythes, les préciser The president. Le président. Apparently, the defense counsel does not have any substantive question. Uh, have you exhausted your list of questions? En avez-vous terminé, maître? According to the nature of your questioning Vu now, it appears to me that uh, you do not have any other substantive questions. That is not correct, Mr. President. I have many substantive questions. Ce n'est J'ai encore beaucoup de questions de fond à poser. Mr. Hedder, did you write in your Monsieur book Eder, that the Communist livre, Party of Kampuchea and its predecessors were not communist at all? Page 21. Reference. Help. Please. La page, la no, I'm, I'm not allowed to quote from, from the book, so I won't give a page. Le livre, donc je ne donne pas la page. Are we in a court of law or a playground? Un salle de now, that is a very good question. La défense. Ça, c'est une excellente question. Uh, can I say that stronger? Can this council please be directed Je not to ask any more questions? Que we are in the bounds of irrelevance. We're défense, now getting in the bounds of um, insults. He should be stopped now, and other councils should take over. Insultes. La défense devrait cesser et d'autres conseils prendre la parole. I'm asking a very relevant question. Je pose une question parfaitement pertinente sur le livre de communisme témoin qui porte sur le communisme. Je lui demande si ce livre qu'il a écrit or one of his central uh, points in the book was that the communist party of Kampuchea and its predecessors were not were communist. Et pas communiste. Et ce en tant que thèse centrale de son livre. Est-ce qu'il l'a écrit why do we have conventions of courtesy? Y -il des de we have them so that you can follow this Elles question and I can follow this question. Que vous can he please be directed? Because I can't do it. Only que you can do it. And it's la time for a direction now. Le faire. Il est temps de le faire, donner des instructions. May I respectfully submit that en toute the prosecution has nothing to say about the way I phrase my questions. It is a perfectly legitimate question. Dont je pose mes questions. I was trying to do it by using the words of the forward by the Chandler. No. The President. The President. Uh, 
counsel, uh, you should uh, follow the uh, practice that, that we have uh, done thus far, and other parties usual. are also supposed to do uh, the same. And uh, you have been in this uh, proceeding for uh, a long time. So if whenever you refer uh, to any particular portion, uh, you should mention the uh, uh, document reference, uh, document number, as well as the relevant year and page. So you should try to be as specific uh, as possible. You have to point to a specific uh, document uh, as well as the relevant pages, and it should be available in the three languages as well for uh, the questioning of this witness. As you know, Mr. President, this book has not been fully translated. It's only in English. There's a few passages in French and Khmer. I will put a very simple question to this witness. Mr. Heder, what is your central thesis in the book, Communism? Cambodian Communism. Cambodian Communism and the Vietnamese model. And the Vietnamese model. Um, one could say that this book is written in the intellectual tradition of something known as post-colonialism, um, the central thesis of which is that anti-colonial political activity often, maybe even typically, um, involved internalized practices derived from colonialism but turned outwardly against the colonists. And in this particular instance, this book is as an example of that genre, intellectual genre. Um, I'm looking at the ways in which, according to the evidence that I saw, the uh, Cambodian communist movement uh, in Cambodian its origins was very heavily influenced by Vietnamese communist structure, organization, ideology, and practice, which was natural because it grew out of an Indo-Chinese communist party, which included both Vietnamese and Cambodians. And that over time, those internalized phenomena Ces phénomènes uh, ont été were turned against the Vietnamese. Et um, les so that, in a sense, the colonialist sens, modes of thinking and modes of modes behavior de pensée, de were used against those who were deemed colonials. Um, and this is, in fact, a pretty cliched standard uh, mode of analysis uh, in, 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 in the time that I was writing the book with regard to understanding colonialism and anti-colonialism. It was a bit novel of me to apply it to this particular situation, um, but um, it was kind of standard in terms of general political theory. I would like you Question. to have a look. I don't know if you have uh, si your book in front of you. Les yeux votre livre. Mm. Uh, Mr. President, could I hand a copy of the relevant pages to the witness? Un exemplaire des pages pertinentes. The President, Court Officer, please uh, obtain the document from the Council and hand it over to the witness for his examination. The President, uh, the witness, you may proceed. Um, I've now looked further at the footnote in the Kiernan volume about which you asked me, and I note that um, Ben goes on to quote ben, something ensuite, that um, 
is dated 1980, um, in which, as he points out, I uh, put forward a rather different view, one might say hypothesis about Samarim. Um, and I think the, you know, the, the important thing here is that um, this is at a period, a point in time when, um, indeed, I was guessing. Um, and so various very different possibilities were coming from me. Um, and it's sort of been portrayed as if this is a, a weakness. Well, maybe it's a weakness, but maybe changing your mind as more and more evidence uh, emerges. More and more interviews are done, more and more documents are viewed. Um, that should be, in fact, not considered en fait, a weakness, but a, a strength. That's what one faiblesse, ought to do. Un point fort. One ought to revise faire. one's Il faut understanding, one's sa façon de voir les summary choses. of the facts, hopefully an objective summary of the facts, pour, uh, as the facts un become des faits, à more que ceci voluminous. De plus en plus um, voluminous. So I would he goes on then to talk about Ensuite, something we previously discussed, and that's why I wanted to link these things together. At the end of the footnote, he reverts to the page, question of what happened in cross-border raids in 1977, um, and suggests that because I changed my mind, or may have changed my mind, between March of 1979 and sometime in 1980, that everything I subsequently have concluded uh, is suspect. Well, yes, it shows suspect. that I am infallible. I'm not, uh, sorry, I'm not infallible. En fait, ça it shows that I changed my infaillible. mind. Uh, que but as I said in my previous testimony with regard to the last point Comme that's covered dit, in this footnote, that reflects an accumulation page. of data material, or if you will, evidence. Whereas these earlier things, I, neither, I wouldn't necessarily stand by either of those two je earlier sûr que je formulations. Thank you for that clarification. Um, I would like to turn your attention to page 123 of your book on communism, chapter 7. For the record, that is E3 slash 22. More particular, it is uh, ERN 0039378686. Uh, since there is no French translation, I will read it. Um, Slowly. Je vais lire cela page 123, the last paragraph. paragraph. In July 1967, the Vietnamese proclaimed that communists in other countries could best help them dans les pays against the US by waging violent struggles against imperialism, like the Bolshevik, Chinese, and Vietnamese revolutions. Even if empty-handed, si they must eventually rise up to wage armed revolution. While attacking their enemies politically, economically, and diplomatically, it was also necessary. The decisive factor would always be the masses armed and political struggle. End of quote. <coughs> A little further. The next page, in fact, Mr. Heather, that is page 124 for you, ERN 00393787. By deviating from the violent path, communists would, all, would allow the local lackeys of imperialism to exterminate the party of the proletariat and do away with the revolutionary organization. All communists must understand that when political struggle develops to a certain level, not supporting it with armed struggle would cause heavy damage to the revolution. A little further, on that same page, in an October analysis, similarly disseminated by Vietnamese media, party chief Le Duan raised the specter of a re reactionary coup d'etat in Cambodia as a result of U.S. mission in nations there to take advantage of its economic difficulties and certain weak points of Sihanouk was in danger of again becoming dependent on U.S. imperialism. 
a little further. The Duan's October analysis also reaffirmed that other communists must learn the lessons of the Vietnamese revolution in order to fulfill their duties as revolutionary vanguards in their own countries. To give their struggles a popular character, they must use both political and military forces to launch uprisings of the oppressed and exploited masses when the situation was ripe for the revolution. The next page is the header, senior in the middle, that is ERN 00393788. Senior Vietnamese theoretician Trong Chin made the same point in early November 1967 speech. When the revolutionary movement was suppressed in an extremely cruel manner, it had no other path to follow than that of revolutionary violence. And uh, finally, that is the next page, page 126, ERN 00393789. Everything the Vietnamese were saying provided the Cambodians with reasons why this path was the only ideologically sound one. It was the right one for small countries and small people, peoples, even if the Communist Party was weak and empty-handed. And regardless of how much more powerful U.S. imperialism might appear to be, it was the only way to avoid inviting destruction by U.S. imperialism and its local lackeys, and the best way to help the Vietnamese in their war against the U.S. And finally, the next page, that is page 00393790, ERN, page 127 on the top. Not to proceed on one's own would be contrary to the principle of independence, self-reliance, self-sufficiency, and mastery of its own destiny. Moreover, the need to follow the path of revolutionary violence remained an inescapable law of contemporary world history. Part of every communist party's historic mission to be fulfilled as one of its vanguard duties. <coughs> now I've, I've read you uh, various quotes from leading Vietnamese politicians and military in the 60s. Um, voilà, je vous ai donné lecture d'un certain nombre de passages. Does your reading of interviews, uh, documents, etc. Uh, allow you to make a factual confirmation as to the policy that was uh, advised to the Cambodians or the CPK as, as, as the one they should follow. Is there any... This is the trouble again we get. Voilà, when we don't have footnotes read out. Some of the assertions that my learned friend has referred to are backed up by footnotes. I'll give you an example of one phrase that's not backed up by any footnote and amounts to opinion evidence. Je peux vous citer une des phrases qui n'a pas de Moreover, the need to follow the path of revolutionary violence remained an inescapable law of contemporary world history. Part of every communist party's historic mission to be fulfilled as one of its vanguard duties. There's no footnote attaching to this. Ici, There's not a footnote attaching to each portion um, that my learned friend has page. quoted. And now Mr. Heder Ici, is being asked to give an answer which is based on opinion elements in a question about a policy that is not defined in the question and which relates to six separate abstracts, four of which were not footnoted. This is not the way to do it. Sans référence à leur note de bas de page lorsqu'elles existent. Ce n'est pas la bonne procédure. The fact that the prosecutor has been referred. Le, le, le président. Président du National Litco Lawyer for Civil Parties, you may proceed. Les partis civils, vous avez la parole. Wait, oh, thank you, Mr. Merci, President. Monsieur le Président. I want to be on my feet to support the objection raised by the prosecution, and I wish to add that. Soulevé par euh, l'accusation. 
the, this kind of question is for the expert and the read out by the council is too fast and it is difficult to understand it, my interpretation of that fast paced speech. Please, if you need to refer to your extracts, please do it slowly so that the interpreter could get a full interpretation of your text. Laissez le temps aux interprètes d'en donner une version complète. I'm reading a passage. La I'm asking the question to je lis un passage. the writer of this passage, une these passages, whether he passages. has factual Tout simplement pour savoir s'il a des informations to, factuelles, um, to back up what he has been saying in addition to ce a écrit. Uh, the sources mentioned in his footnotes. En plus des I'm not interested in the footnotes. I can read the footnotes myself. I'm interested in if he has any other factual information to whether there's factual information which corroborates et est -ce um, ces informations factuelles his apparent point of view that Vietnam, de Vietnam le point de vue selon was lequel uh, supplying le Vietnam um, the policy and the policy terms to the CPK. Enseigner la politique à suivre au euh, PCK, chose qui euh, découle des propos écrits par M. Heder. President, the objection raised by the prosecution and the support by the National League co lawyer by civil parties to the last question by the International Council for Nunchia, Victor Coupe, which seems to draw his uh, opinion as an expert and which is contradictory to the instruction by the chamber as this witness appears before this chamber as a witness. And for that reason, the witness is directed not to respond to that question and the objection that is raised is sustained. And Mr. Stevens, you may take the floor. Uh, I'm not sure I fully understand the connection between the prosecution objection and your ruling. 
de l'accusation et votre décision. Je ne mets pas en question votre décision. Ce que disait le procureur était qu'il y a dans ce texte des affirmations qui ne sont pas étayées par une note de bas de page. Et la conclusion a été tirée par Um, and not factual in the sense that it's something that is attributed to a, another document. And again, it's been a while. I think what's going on here is intertextuality, as it's known in the academic business. I'm using, I'm restating here things that are footnoted somewhere else in the document, uh, the phraseology. The formulations la I use here are lifted, if not entirely verbatim, rather closely from something that I've already said somewhere else with a footnote. And therefore, um, the, the sort of standard practice to save space um, and for other kind of just silly reasons uh, is not to repeatedly footnote the same thing when you've already footnoted it. So I'm not sure the conclusion, however drawn, but whoever has drawn it here, that this is opinion in the sense of it's my interpretation rather than fact in the sense that it's effectively me quoting something someone else has said. I'm not sure that's a correct inference from just this page. You'd have to look throughout, I'm afraid you'd have to look throughout the entire book to see whether I've, in fact, indeed, as I think I have said it somewhere else and footnoted it. And to assist you, Mr. Heller, from the beginning, the page, the the page President, I think the Time for today's hearing Il me semble que is now uh, adjourned, and the time allocation for Nunchi's defense is expired. Le temps imparti à la défense de Nunchia Today's proceeding has come to an adjournment, and the chamber will adjourn now and resume tomorrow morning. That is Wednesday, the 17th. July 2013, and for tomorrow we will continue to hear the testimony of the witness, Mr. Steve Heder, who will be questioned by his support's defense. This information is for the parties, the support staff, and for the general public. Mr. Steve Heder, the hearing of your testimony has not yet concluded and you are invited to Monsieur return to the courtroom Heder, tomorrow morning. Vous êtes invité à revenir en and ce it will demain commence matin. at 9 a.m. Nous commencerons Court officer in collaboration with the VISU, please assist the return to the residence of the witness Steve Heder and have him return to the courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 a.m. And security guards are instructed to take the true accused, there is no G and Q some pawn to the detention facility and have the return to the courtroom tomorrow morning prior to 9 a.m. As for Nunchia, bring him to the holding cell downstairs, which is equipped with audiovisual means for him to follow the proceeding remotely. The court is now adjourned.